behind me is a 2021 model Toyota Hilux. It has our easy lock-up, lock-up function kit on it, and we're gonna hit the beach very shortly, and I'm gonna to explain to you guys how our low-speed and high-speed lock-up works. So if you've got this model of car, you really need to watch this video. We are up the beach once again with the N80 Hilux. Um, this is our 2021 model Gen 3 N80. Um, the easy lock kit that we do for these cars covers all the Gen 3 models. But today I'm just gonna run through again what low speed lockup does and how we interact and how we use it basically. A lot of people ask this question, when do I use low speed? How do I use it? So I'm going to show you how I use low speed um, and what we've designed the kit for. Um, and we're gonna go through that pace right now. So first things first, we're gonna do this run up the beach around about you know, just under five minutes um, with the converter unlocked, which is how factory will be. We'll be traveling and probably we'll see how we go around second gear, third gear if we're lucky. Around that 50 kilometers an hour is where we're gonna be trying to stabilize at. Um, obviously our tires are pumped up, they're 33 inch tires. Um, I'm gonna see a, a pretty big increase in temperature here. So I'm logging at the moment with the laptop and I'm gonna go through the log after, um, you know, we've got this information just to show you guys the difference. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see where the outcome is. So, we will start to take off, put the seatbelt on. Alright, so we're in second gear, we're doing about just over 40 k's an hour. So let's see if we can... Understanding where we're at. All right, well, that's pretty crazy. We're already up to 95 degrees in transmission temp. We've only just started in the soft sand. It's amazing how quickly this is climbing. Um, this definitely seems to be, look, the car's doing it quite well in standard form. However, it is getting hot. Uh, that's interesting. I've literally just got the temperature code come up, trans temp, on the dash, which is quite interesting. So here we are, we're, we're sort of not very far in, not doing a hell of a lot. We're just driving on the soft sand, as if we would be trying to get up to our can spot. All right, I'm not gonna, push it much further because when the fans start to roar in you can see it temperatures starting to get up there so I know she's starting to get warm and all right I'm gonna stop there so the transmission's been well and truly hot enough for quite some time now so we're over 100 degrees on the trans temp at the moment um, engine temps around that 92 degrees. Um, it's quite amazing that it got that hot so soon. Um, you know, that was only such uh, a short little trip that we've done there. Probably only going for a couple of minutes on high tide. Um, there's no load on this car. It's just got a, you know, it's a tray, um, tub tray that's on it. Um, nothing too crazy. And it's amazing how that temperature went up pretty quickly. So um, what we're gonna do now is go back down to the beach where we started from. We're gonna load the lock up in and we're gonna see the temperature difference in if that's decreased down um, and uh, see what the actual, the gain is there. So, so far, um, yeah, not real great. I mean, we even got an engine light up um, and it states there on the dash, it's got transmission over temp. Um, so, um, yeah, really interesting. So, anyhow, um, let's go see what it does. Um, I've just loaded in a tune file which has as our easy lockup set up in it. Um, so this has got um, a fair bit more power, but it's also got our lockup which we can use our eco and power bar nodes um, in this particular car to get it to function. So first things first, when you press the eco button, 
Um, the lockup is going to come in from around that 40 kilometers an hour. Uh, it's gonna stay locked in the whole way through your rev range, uh, no matter what speed you're doing. The only two things that will deactivate the lockup from um, disengaging will be if you're under 38 kilometers an hour or if you push the button. Uh, the eco button off, it'll switch off and go back to normal. Um, obviously the difference there with high speed using the power mode, uh, the only real difference is the set speed that the converter lockup comes in at. Um, so the lockup on the high speed will come in around about that 80 kilometers an hour uh, and unlock 5Ks under that around that 75. So we have this set up at the moment uh, working extremely well, it's really easy to use. Uh, if ever in doubt, you can turn off both modes or when the car first starts up um, on first ignition cycle, the car's in normal mode, which means that uh, there's no functionality, it's running like the factory gearbox settings, uh, there's no lockup or anything like that in there at all. Uh, so we're gonna do this run now, I'll just come back. Um, our transmission temp from that run um, got over 100 degrees pretty quickly um, and we're still up around that 80, 86 degrees at the moment just from coming that run just to calm it back down again so we're still we still got a fair bit of temp there um, so we're going to do the same run now um, and use it we're going to still be in that second gear but now we're going to have the converter locked and we're going to see what the difference will be in the temp so let's get on the road and do it so eco button in low speed lock up okay so converter's locked in now doing about 40 k's an hour around that 43 kilometers an hour, 44. Great start from where we were before. I think we jumped up to 90 pretty quickly. So we're maintaining about 50 kilometers now. Converter locked up. So as you can see, the converter will stay in. It will not come out unless you're under that set speed, which the set speed to disengage is around that 38 kilometers an hour. Or if it pushes the eco button to normal mode, um, if I wanted to engage power mode then, it would only re-engage at the set speed for high speed, which is around that 85 kilometers an hour. So, so far this is extremely good. Um, as you can see, this is, this is good. Um, so we're at 86 degrees transmission temps. The temps just not increasing. Um, even our coolant temps at 88 degrees, um, it's dropped a lot. Um, we by this stage we were definitely cooking a lot. It looks like it's stabilising, which is really really good. That's exactly what we want to see. So we're not far off from our end point here. Coming through. Uh, roll off the soft stuff and back onto the hard ground and just have a look at this log. And yeah, wow, look at that. Okay, our transmission temp is at 87 degrees um, and our coolant temp is at 88 degrees. So there you have it. That is a massive decrease in temperature right there. Um, and that's all just using the low speed lockup. Obviously, understand how a converter works. Um, there's definitely a very good few uh, YouTube videos on how converters work. But when the converter is open and you're driving along like that, you've got around about a 22% ratio. And that 22% slip ratio will just add heat. Um, the fact that we can lock it, add more power, now we're driving like a manual car, where we're not generating all that heat through the converter. So we can pull through this sand, um, especially at high tide. You know, it's, this is conditions like this, you don't usually see yourself driving in all the time you want to be you know on the hard stuff where it's easy to drive however maintaining the car like this um, you know you get stuck or you got to tow a caravan up the beach and you don't know what your tides are doing or even if you're towing a caravan up a range for a long period of time um, this is definitely the way to go with the easy lock kit okay so just got off the beach and I thought I'd do a quick little video of our high speed lockup on the highway um, just give you the separation of that low speed and then 
now high speed. So we're traveling around about that 80 k's an hour at the moment. Our converter's unlocked, it hasn't locked in yet. It just locked in their factory, and this is in factory form. Um, if you just squeeze the gas a little bit, it pops straight out, it doesn't stay in. Um, you can really, it's really hard to keep the converter locked in um, at really that light load area. Um, there is ways of doing it, however, um, every time you put your foot down and change the standard gear, or goes up gear, it will unlock, um, and it just becomes a little bit unsettled. So, what we've done, we'll put it into power mode now. And as you can see, there's a change there in RPM. It drops about a 250 RPM. And we're doing 100 Ks and we're in fifth gear. And we're doing around that 1800 RPM. I don't have six gear coming in earlier in this file because we're using the converter to lock in with the fifth gear. I can get the six gear to come in earlier. However, you start to drop below that 1500 RPM area. And in this car, with the way it's set up, it's just, you know, it's got 33s on it. It's, it's just too low RPM and the car really labors at that point. So we're driving along at 100K, 1800. You can have a trailer on the back at the moment. And basically you could be going up a hill. You'll stabilize in tra and trans temp. Um, everything about it will work really, really well for that. Um, so if you've got a work trailer, you're a chippy or a plumber, and you're towing around a trailer all day long, and you start to go through hilly areas, you'll notice, especially in the N80s, they're uh, pretty undecisive with the way that they're changing through the gears all the time. And it can be, you know, um, it's just not pleasurable to drive. So putting high speed in, we cruise along like this all day long, trailer on the back, going up to the hills, bits and pieces, um, and it works extremely well. And as you can see, we've got a bit of an incline now on the hill, and I'm squeezing the throttle down just to try and get up the hill. That's going up. And now we're doing about 110 k's an hour, two grand, and we haven't had any change in gear changes. The converter stays locked in, not a problem at all. Um, it really does make a big difference to the drivability. However, if you want it out, all you need to do is press the power mode, and now you can see the converter unlocks and then we've got the converter unlocked and back to the way it was from factory. So there you have it guys, that's low speed and high speed lockup for the N80 Hilux. Like I said before, any more questions or queries, please get in contact with us. I'm more than happy to answer any of your questions or queries. Thanks guys.